Hello, this is Nora Siggins. I have been a teacher in SFUSD for one year and prior an English teacher in Argentina for two years. I'm currently getting my master's in teaching reading at USF. I'm excited to talk to you about Unit 1.2, Attributes of Two-Dimensional Shapes. You and your students will likely start this unit in mid-September and continue up to the beginning of October. The big idea of this unit is that two-dimensional shapes can be described, classified, and analyzed by their attributes. For example, we can describe shapes, group them together, and then analyze how they are the same and how they are different. Most importantly, students learn that there are attributes that define shapes, number of sides and corners for example, and attributes that don't, such as color or size. Students will also be composing and decomposing shapes in various ways, including their first introduction to the idea of equal shares. It is important that students make connections between math they have already learned and math they are going to learn. In kindergarten, students learn to use attributes to identify and describe various 2D shapes, but they may still be a bit shaky on whether or not a square is still a square if it changes from red to blue. In kindergarten, students also learn that shapes can be broken apart into smaller pieces and put together to make complex shapes. In this unit, students expand the idea of shapes having attributes to attributes defining shapes. They are also building from randomly breaking shapes apart to breaking them apart into equal pieces. In Unit 1.7, students will learn to describe, classify, and analyze 3D shapes. In second grade, students will learn to draw a shape given its attributes and extend their informal fraction understanding from making equal shares to making equal pieces in more than one way. Students start this unit by identifying the attributes that define triangles, rectangles, trapezoids, circles, and squares. Students then partition squares, rectangles, and circles into halves and fourths and connect the idea of halves with the clock and telling time to the hour and half hour. Don't worry too much about telling time. This is a very brief introduction to the subject and the topic will return in Unit 1.5 and in Math Talks and Learning Stations throughout the year. Students will spend the last lesson series on composing larger shapes from pattern blocks and decomposing shapes on geoboards. One example of how students learn to distinguish defining from non-defining attributes is through the use of the Freire model, where students list the attributes of the shape they are studying. The model also asks students to draw non-examples, which can really help them figure out what is required for a shape and what isn't. In lesson series two, Students fold rectangles, squares, and circles into halves and fourths and connect their model of a circle folded in half to the hour and half hour on a clock. Pattern blocks are used to compose larger shapes because their side lengths match, so it's easy to make a rhombus out of, a, out of triangles, for example. Geoboards make decomposition easy, for example, cutting a rectangle into two squares. When you sit down with your colleagues to preview this unit, you should do the expert and milestone tasks together. Note that in the expert tasks, students will be using four pattern blocks to create cookies, which they share fairly between two and then four friends. You may wish to discuss with your colleagues how to extend the task by having students use more blocks to make a cookie. Lots of ideas about sharing fairly could come up in interesting ways for students. The milestone tasks returns to the big idea of shape identification and categorization. Students are allowed to use the Freire model you created in Lesson Series 1 to help them with this task. Doing the tasks with your colleagues will help you to think of questions you might ask or sentence frames you might want to provide for your students. By the end of this unit, students will have had many experience with 2D shapes. They will identify and sort them by their attributes, compose them into larger shapes, and decompose them into a variety of smaller shapes and into equal shares. They will also get their first glimpse at analog clocks and telling time and connect this to the idea of equal shares of a circle. As always, if you have feedback, please go to sfusdmath.org and click on the curriculum feedback button. Have fun with this unit and thank you for all that you do. We will see you again at the beginning of October for unit 1.3 edition within 20.